Welcome to the Angamine Data Feature. I'm Matt Anstett from Compendia Bioscience, and today I'll be presenting prostate cancer mutational landscape in lethal castration-resistant prostate cancer. The latest update to Angamine includes two prostate cancer datasets recently published in Nature by scientists from the University of Michigan and Compendia Bioscience. By searching in Angamine for last author Grasso, or by selecting the recently added filter, prostate cancer cancer type filter, and clinical specimen sample type filter, we'll retrieve these data sets. Within this study, the mutational landscape of castration resistant prostate cancer was investigated. Both exome sequencing and microarray technologies were applied to determine mutations, DNA copy number changes, and gene expression levels. In Oncomine, Compendia has added annotations for several of the mutations identified by exome sequencing to derive differential expression signatures that re represent these mutation states. Several genes with no known role in prostate cancer were found to be mutated. One of these, CDK12, was recently found to also be mutated in ovarian cancer. Another, CHD1, a chromatin remodeling enzyme, was found to be deleted in ETS family gene fusion negative prostate cancers. These aberrations may represent unique biological mechanisms in a subset of prostate cancers that may be candidates for novel targeted therapy. CDK12 and cyclin K complex is involved in maintaining genomic stability through the regulation of DNA damage response genes. Mutation in CDK12 results in deregulation of damage response genes. To evaluate the biology of CDK12 mutant signatures generated in Oncomine, we could begin by selecting the differential expression analysis for CDK12 mutation status. Here we note the significance of overexpression in the top ranked genes. Class 2 here in the legend represent the CDK12 mutation and class 1 represents the CDK12 wild type samples. Genes are ordered by their p-value and fold change is also reported. We can select the top 5% overexpressed genes in this analysis and use these in concept association analysis to identify other concepts or gene lists in the database that share the same biology. The resulting concept summary map shows all of the concepts that meet the default statistical thresholds for similarity to our primary concept. We see that this signature appears across many other concepts in the database. By setting our odds ratio to 3, we can view more significant results. Results are classified by general cancer type and analysis type. Each of the results in the cells represent significant overlap with our primary concept. Thus, in breast cancer, for clinical outcome, we can see that there are six concepts that share similar gene sets with our overexpressed genes in CDK12 mutation. To understand more about the CDK12 mutation signature, we can investigate third-party concepts to determine the biology of the signature. By selecting biological annotations, we retrieve hits based on our statistical threshold. The number one hit, chromosome 17Q25 chromosome cytoband, is a significant p-value, a q-value, and odds ratio for the overlap between this concept and our primary concept. To the right, we see our primary concept listed, the number of genes, the associated concept selected, the number of genes, and the interaction or overlapping gene set shared between the two concepts. The next concept in our list is mitosis, a go biological process. By highlighting mitosis, again, we see the number of genes in that concept and the shared overlapping gene set. Within this list, we see also 
chromosome site of N17Q24 and 6Q22 as having shared overlap. We also see spindle apparatus for the go-cellular component, spindle and mitosis being part of cell division. We can return to our concept summary view and here investigate pathway concepts. You see there are three results. Enlisted here, the cell cycle keg pathway. Again, we see the interacting overlapping set at CDC20 and CDCC2 HPRD interaction sets. These third-party results give us more information about the CDK12 signature and its relationship to cell cycle. A better understanding of the CDK12 mutation overexpression signature in the prostate cancer data set. We can return again to the studies that were added recently in prostate cancer that were clinical specimens. Here again we can select CDK12 mutation analysis and in this case select our primary concept for the top 5% underexpressed genes in the CDK12 mutation signature. Setting our odds ratio to 2. We can now see in our concept summary map four results in prostate cancer molecular subtype mutation. These results are overexpression signatures. They share a common set of genes with the underexpressed signatures in CDK12 mutants and may re represent distinct biology. That's family gene fusions, P10 deletion, ERG rearrangements. All these concepts share overlap with our CDK12 mutant underexpressed signature. Because these genes are underexpressed in CDK12 mutants and overexpressed in ETS family P10 deletion and ERG rearrangements suggest distinct biology between CDK12 mutants and these aberrations. DNA copy data is also available from this study and can be explored in the Grasso Prostate 2 study. To identify new subsets, we can select the ERG rearrangement analysis. Copy number gain and loss are identified within ERG rearrangements in class 1 relative to no ERG rearrangements in class 2. The top ranked gene for copy gain in ERG positive samples is CHD1, reflecting the apparent copy number loss in some ERG negative prostate cancers. To explore CHD1 further, we can clear our search box and survey CHD1 across the Oncomine analyses. By navigating to the gene summary view, we can then get an idea of where CHD1 activity is high in terms of overexpression in red or low in terms of underexpression in blue. The numbers reflecting the number of analyses that meet our statistical thresholds. And the largest number in this summary is in prostate cancer underexpressed outliers. Here we see across a number of independent prostate cancer data sets a out, significant outlier, underexpressed outlier ranking for CHD1. Here in the Glinsky prostate study with a ranking of 11, we see a subset of prostate cancers that have apparent loss of CHD1 expression. Similarly in Settler prostate, we have a number of samples that have apparent loss of CHD1 expression. And in another DNA copy number data set, the Dimitulis prostate study, we have a loss uh, in, a, in a subset of samples as well. We can continue further down the list, exploring more of the ex expression results in outlier, both in expression and in DNA copy. 
observing the uh, small subset where there is either loss of expression or deletion. To further confirm CHD1 copy number loss in prostate cancer, we can explore the data in more depth in the Oncomine Power Tool, which is the DNA copy number browser. Here we've selected prostate cancer data sets and are viewing in the genome browser each chromosome and genomic position on the x-axis. On the y-axis we have the sum of our log2 copy number. And in this view, peaks representing potential amplifications and deletions. We can begin by selecting CHD1 from the filter and marking that gene in our view by drawing a box around it. Once CHD1 is selected, you can retrieve all other genes into the view. And since CHD1 is on chromosome 5, we can zoom in on chromosome 5. Now we can see CHD1's position on chromosome 5 and also select flanking regions for evaluation. Selecting flanking re regions returns the data within those regions both for the samples that are represented on the y-axis as well as the genes positioned by their genome coordinate on the x-axis of the region viewer. Each marker in this plot is sized by the absolute copy number value to indicate where there are significant amplifications or gains or loss or deletions. We can also set our log2 copy number filter to display values that represent loss of one copy or greater. By applying this filter, we then see that CHD1 is at the peak of our sample count and in our deleted log2 copy sum, sum plot at the bottom. In our region viewer, we can also see that the majority of samples within this copy number range are represented all the way across CHD1, where there may be a missing sample flanking CHD1 in multiple samples on either side of CHD1. This provides strong evidence for CHD1 focal deletion in prostate cancers. These CHD1 negative ERG, prost ERG negative prostate cancers may represent a new subtype of prostate cancer that have focal deletions of CHD1. In summary, we demonstrated the identification of new subtypes of metastatic prostate cancer having CDK1 mutation and CHD1 deletion, respectively. Further investigation is needed to fully characterize these subtypes and identify potential therapies.